Haaland, Haaland. Oh, no. He's in behind. Haaland's in behind. Haaland takes the shot. 1-0. 1-0, Erlen Haaland. Manchester City bought themselves some time and they've made us pay. Pep Guardiola and his boys are ahead. Uh, Manchester City, they are champions of the Carabao Cup. They have claimed back the trophy that, to be fair, is rightfully theirs. <laughs> They're the ones that win it almost every year. It's given me some sort of redemption arc. Everything that's happening so far is, is all a part of the bigger picture. It's all a part of a big plan. I'm telling you guys, trust the process. Just trust the process. So here's a chance for redemption. Manchester United versus Manchester City is going to kick this episode off. If you guys didn't tune into the last one, we lost 1-0 in the Carabao Cup final due to an Erlen Haaland goal in the second half. So, um, yeah, chances of silverware is quite slim at the minute. As you guys can see, we're in the middle of a heated title race. If we win both our games in hand, we'll uh, go back to being only one point behind Arsenal. So we can't afford to drop any more points in the Premier League. If we do want to continue uh, to fight for the for the title. I'm not too sure who we're going to be playing against. But one thing for certain is Man City and Atletico are on the cards. We need to complete this tie where we're currently um, we're currently 3-0 uh, no ahead. After that prolific, prolific uh, performance in front of goal at home. Um, in terms of the other side, we can either end up playing against, I'd say, Fulham, Brentford... Uh, there's a chance of Chelsea, but we don't know yet. We have to wait for the semi, uh, not semi final, quarter final draw to be done because I know there's going to be a, a bit of um, shuffling when it comes to the actual uh, schedule. So, this season, I feel like we've been really good in goal in, um, in certain periods. So, as you guys can see, we're accumulating goals for certain individuals like Martial, Rashford, and Hoyland. So, the, the top goal scorers are the three goal scorers that you guys would have expected to be on top. Uh, Bruno Fernandes continues to um, gain assists and goal involvements. We also have uh, Eriksen um, in that box-to-box -box role, arriving late, actually adding his two cents as well. Uh, one player that's definitely stood out this season is Garnacho. Whenever he's come off the bench or actually um, just featured from time to time, he's actually been um, a, a breath of fresh air. Diallo, we are, we are trying our hardest to get used to using the Diallo. But um, so far, he's only got three goal involvements in nine appearances. So chances are really slim for him. Hopefully, um, uh, there's going to be more opportunities as we get further on in the season. And maybe, maybe uh, we could either sell him or loan him out in the summer if um, if it seems like he's not going to get a look in because Garnacho is obviously the better player out of the two. So we've set up new instructions for the global transfer network so in terms of uh, my main priority in the summer it will definitely be a right back afterwards it will be a defensive midfielder because currently we still have Amrabat we still haven't decided whether we want to keep him or not or going for someone a lot stronger in the system but right back is a uh, definitely a concern because the low uh, his defensive ability is quite worrying but technically he's really good whereas um Wambasaka technically he's not good but defensively He's worrying so i want to find someone that's got a bit of both so we don't have anything missing down that right hand side even a left back could be an option but right now we're just going to prioritize a defensive midfielder a right back and if we have money left over we could probably look for a striker um a striker is definitely not a priority but it's somewhere where there's something that we can definitely improve upon um especially the fact that we only have two number nines Sometimes I'm shifting Rashford down the middle, which isn't ideal because it takes away from the left wing role. But this game here could determine the course of our season. Manchester United versus Manchester City. We already thumped them earlier on this season, 5-2. And um, I do want to solidify a spot in the title race. And any, like I said at the, end, at the start of the video, any drop points could be very critical. As you guys already see, I have two games in hand, so it looks a bit sticky at the minute. I don't want to give... Um, any of my title rivals any further confidence in us um, going on a poor run of games. My players will think, yeah, we're going to bounce back because that's what I'm going to be telling them during the team talk. We're getting ready for this game coming up next. Just doing a bit of training just so my players are ready for their big encounter. I didn't do any training before that cup final. Some will say that we weren't prepared. So this time, we're not leaving any room for errors. So uh, hopefully in the next game, you guys are going to see us thump Manchester City and turn Manchester red for good this time for good because after we beat them this time there's going to be no going back when we're done with them
Okay, game is about to get kicked off. Manchester United versus Manchester City is on the way. Uh, there's a sour taste in our mouths after that defeat at Wembley. So uh, expect us to leave everything on the pitch now. Can't afford back-to-back -back defeats against our noisy neighbours. Especially uh, what it would mean if we drop all three points to them in this encounter as well. Because they are in the title race too. Can't have them uh, in a matter of two weeks taking a trophy out of our hands and getting us out of the title race. There's a red card, Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish has made a foolish mistake early on in the Manchester derby. He goes in on Bruno Fernandes. What was a really, really violent tackle. Come on, Pep Guardiola. You can't be having uh, this kind of conduct within your side. So let's see how Manchester City adapt now. Some say it's on us to go on and win. But Man City are still full of energy. All 10 men. Oh, Harlem with the header. See? Uh, they're still going to try to impose themselves. Andre Onana makes a save. Kevin De Bruyne swings this one in. Marshall heads clear. Anthony can pick the ball up. He's got a lot of green to run into. He's got Rico Lewis on him currently. I don't think I fancy him in this foot race. There's Anthony. Anthony has a Kanji following up. Martial gets the ball, tries to shoot with his left foot. Ruben Diaz puts in a block. So far, not best of that there, goalkeeper. So not to worry, we can play the patient game. Real tussle there between Amrabat, Bernardo Silva. Oh, good play there. Keep moving this ball, Bruno. Over the top, we've got Martial, plays it in the centre, oh, Rashford, oh my goodness, you should be burying that, this is the problem that we had in the final, we had a lot of clear cut chances, but no one had the ball to put in the back of the net, we can't have a repeat, Rashford needs to improve after this opportunity, Bruno puts the ball into the box, Casemiro gets a hit on it, it's 1-0, it's 1-0 from a set piece, Edison couldn't keep the header out, and uh, we've taken the league, we struck first, Casemiro, a lot of curve on that cross. Out jumps Mendes and Erlen Haaland arriving late behind him. This massive leap. Uh, with an added bonus with, the, with a clean sheet. One can only hope. 21 minutes played. And uh, it's time to actually take control over this game. What was I do doing there? What was I doing? Haaland. Oh, no. Oh, no. Julian Alvarez. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Uh, led from a mistake from Marcus Rashford. I was looking at the map. I was trying to play it back to goalkeeper. I felt like there was no avenue out. But I wasn't noticing or paying attention to Haaland's movement. I was only looking at his movement on the radar. And, of course, the radar is not a good indication to where a player is 100% standing or how close they are to you. And uh, Man City have made us pay... Uh, really frustrated with my choices that I've made. Uh, just passes are not clicking in the final third at the minute for us. Man City will come away with the ball. Haaland tries to look to his left. And uh, luckily, got a few players in the way. One anti make that run. Oh, drop short. Do the one two. Just can't complete the two. What's wrong with this guy's technical ability? All he had to do was get it through the gap. Had a bit of power. Then we're through down the right hand side. Rico Lewis to Rodri. Kevin De Bruyne up. Traveling forward with the ball. Rico Lewis. Oh, well done. Malasia, thank you. Was in a strong challenge. Martial releases Rashford. Rashford goes on the inside. Play the ball through the gap. Malasia on the outskirts. Bournemouth forward with numbers. Martial arriving late on that back post. Ball played in. Nuno Mendes gets it cleared. Come on. Arabat. Martial behind. Oh, we take the shot. And Edison closes down the angle quite quickly. And he makes the save. See, fans, despite being down to 10 men, trying to egg their players on to have a goal. They fancy themselves. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Can we capitalise? We do. We do. Anthony has uh, uh, got that redeemed 
or that that goal that redeems his performance so far and it was handed to us on the plate just like their equalizer and i feel like uh it's a tit for tat thing now <laughs> you know we 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 scratch your back you scratch ours that's what it looks like to us uh, from from my perspective at least that was a poor mistake from the back okay so we've had two mistakes already in this manchester derby uh, actually three if you want to include that jack Grealish. That one, I'm pretty sure he'll be regretting it now. Oh, three minutes is up. What's this referee playing? Okay, 2-1. Uh, we are in control. You guys should expect that to be the case. Uh, as Manchester City are down to 10 men. I'll say they still got a bit of fight in them. We probably need to move the ball about a bit. Play Piggy in the middle. Tire out their midfield. And then maybe take control from there. So in the second half, we're going to have a conserved approach. Oh, no, no. Casemiro, Fernandez, Martial, all to the left, Malasia can run onto it, really patient play, seems to be paying off, Malasia cuts it back, Rashford with the left foot strike, Edison makes the save, the first save of the second half, and uh, yeah, we're definitely in the side that's in control. Just breaking them down bit by bit. Rashford. I'm going to go back to balanced. I think that's why we haven't got numbers forward. We're pressurizing them in their own half. So we'll get as many players forward as possible. Rashford uh, still decides to hit the disabled stands. <laughs> Bolden thinks it to the right. Rico Lewis. Ireland again. Phil Foden. Foden takes a shot. Come on, put a foot in. Come on. Oh, another shot from Foden. Okay, three substitutions. So, Arabat, Malassia, and um, Martial, they're making their way off. Hoyland, Eriksen, and Luke Short. Those are the players replacing those three just mentioned. All played into the box. Header from Haaland. Oh, save from Onana. We scrambled the ball out for another quarter kick. City fans egging on their players. Look at that. Atmosphere is uh, electrifying. Hopefully, we can shut the home fans up within the next 20 minutes. And uh, we'll deal with another delivery here. It's taken short, Foden, Silva, De Bruyne, Ireland inside the box. Don't let him get the shot off. Don't let him get a shot off. Clear it out. Clear your lines. What's Wamba Saka doing? Giving them a smooch. Clear your lines, man. What's going on here? It's like Martinez and, and Wambasaka taking turns to tease the lethal forward. Oh no, they shouldn't be praising them, should be berating them. Foden. Foden switches it up, cuts it back. Oh no, oh no. Oh yes, Harlan has missed right in front of goal. Unlikeliest of players to do so. I think everything was happening too quick. Couldn't get his balance. Or the, probably just didn't know where the goal was in fact. Look at this. How many shots have Har has Haaland had? Five of them. One of them's obviously gone in. Actually, no, that was Julian Alvarez. Wambasaka. Anthony. Nice ball into the gap. Into Bruno Fernandes. Nice ball into Hoyland, which was looped up in the air. I tried to direct it with his head up into the back of the net. Doesn't even hit the target. Two more changes being made. We are going to take off Rashford and Martinez. Going on is Garnacho and Tapsuba. Uh, again, 10 men Manchester City are giving us a goal, and I don't know how. Uh, right now, we're on attacking. We're going to drop down to balance just so we don't commit too many men forward. We haven't tired them out like I thought we would. We think we've just angered them, just moving this ball around. Ericsson. Plays the ball to the left flank. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw has a Bernardo Silva with him. Looking for an option for a cutback. Hoyland turns. Right foot strike. Edison gets a hand to it. The ball's still in play. Nuno Mendes. Oh, we're pressuring them. Akanji clears his lines. Foden. Oh, he tries to flick the ball up. Ends up hitting the hand of Rafael Varane. Referee stops play. I think uh, neither side are willing to give up much to concede. Again, for a, a chance to get a goal themselves. So if we score one more goal, it's over for City. And if City scores, it's an embarrassment for us. Garnacho 
Gonna try this again. This time gets the ball into the box. The referee deems it a handball from Rodri. Ah, uh, see? And this is where you need a bit, of li uh, a bit of luck sometimes. It goes against you. But when it's for you, <laughs> it's even better. Rodri swings his arm and the referee deems it a penalty. Rico Lewis is being replaced by Vardio. We have an opportunity to put this game to bed. And who's going to step up? None other than Captain Fantastico, Bruno Fernandes. Let's go. Let's dispatch of this. Bruno. To ease everything. He does exactly that. Bruno Fernandes puts the nail in the coffin with a penalty. 3 1 is the scoreline with four minutes to go. And uh, yeah, that must feel bad. That must feel really frustrating for Pep Guardiola to go out like that. Ten men Manchester City gave it gave it up there. Oh, when you need a player in a clutch moment, you can call on Bruno Fernandes. Just right hand side, puts the ball in, get out. No hands were used in the making of that clearance. Okay, full time whistle, 3 1 is the scoreline. And uh, I won't say uh, we've completely redeemed ourselves, but this is the road uh, to glory potentially. Uh, we keep our noses in the title race with this victory, and it also sends out a message we won't fall and we won't sit down and lick our wounds for too long because uh, we've got things to do. We've got things to do. We're in the middle of a rebuild. Uh, Bruno Fernandes bagged that penalty, well, scored the penalty in the end. That separated us and uh, made things very comfortable. Okay, next up is this second leg against Atletico Madrid. The tie is almost done. It's almost a uh, one. Three nils the scoreline. I know it's a comfortable lead, but anything can happen across across both legs. Uh, we just need to see out this victory the way we saw out the victory against Everton, where we beat them three one off camera. So it's an extra three points added on the board. But yeah, we're going to head off into the training session and uh, we're going to talk a bit about the lineups right after this. Okay, so the training session's all done. So we are going to rotate quite a bit. So Donny van der Beek is in for Mount as he's really tired. Martin is tired, but despite that, we're going to still keep him in the starting 11 right next to Varane. Bayern is going to come in. I doubt he's going to concede um, that many goals to the point where they're going to make a comeback. He's actually been in really good form out of the two, him and Onana. He's been more consistent, but... Because Onana is the first choice keeper, we're going to try to persevere with him and see if we can turn this form around, which he has so far. Um, Luke Shaw's in for Malasia yet again. wan is back into the fold. Sancho's starting off the right because Anthony's tired. We're going to uh, bring Garnacho on for the likes of Rashford as he's tired as well. So there's a bit of a um, bit of method to, to my madness. I'm going to rotate but still try to maintain the lead that we've got. Trying to draw some of their players out. Remember Saka. What's San this is what I mean. Sancho's just like he, he receives the ball and he stops. He stops and stays there and gets tackled. Clearly trying to do a one-two. What's this guy doing? Uh 12 minutes gone. Still yet to have a shot on goal. But weird start to the game. They start off by pressing a lot when then they so let us have the ball for a bit. Now they've got it. I want to see what their approach is going to be. And uh, it's that. <laughs> Move the ball around and give the ball up around the back. Jaden Sancho with the interception. Rashford. Tony van der Beek. Play the ball to the right. Van Bissaka. Sancho. And Anthony Martial with the right foot strike. Or Black with a save. Martial. Uh, went with the Travella technique. Almost the keeper out Sancho has another crack at it but it's over the bar this time Avi Galan tries to put one in the centre Casemiro can easily deal with that Martial receives the pass from Sancho he returns it Sancho's made a brilliant run is he possibly through on goal defender seems to have caught him he cuts in on his left left foot strike is blocked Bruno on the edge of the box is Donny Sancho oh, Bruno Oh, he's going to run in behind. I was going to give it a little sweet dink over the top. See if it can land perfectly for him on a volley. He tells wan to get up. To play. Works out momentarily. Actually, not momentarily. Here we go. Luke Shaw. What's the ball in? Sancho. Oh, can't get a connection with the head up. 
It's going to knock it down for Martial. wan has got a knock. Referee, some job you're doing. Correa. Griezmann with a shot. Well done. Martinez putting the block in. Rashford. Sancho. Go on, Sancho. Takes the ball in the stride. He's got Savic on him. Lomond cuts across, makes the intervention. And uh, Javi Galant can play it up the line into Lamar. So, past the half hour mark. Still yet to properly test out or black. Lamar's in our penalty area. Oh, gets a semi shot off. I think he attempted to take a shot, but one of my defenders put a foot in. And Basaka. Casemiro with the challenge. Rash returns, gives it to Donny van der Beek. Plays it to his left. Luke Short. Rashford. Long shot. Rashford. Uh, I think that's uh, probably the hardest Tesla Black has had in this first half. But it was a good attempt, nonetheless. The mark. All played in. Back post. Oh, referee. Oh, he's given a penalty. He's given a penalty. Referee. Come on, man. Come on. The ball's hit the man. It's gone directly to Luke Shaw. I'm sure Luke Shaw's arm is down by his waist. Oh, that's soft, man. That's soft. Okay, Atletico Madrid, potential lifeline. Griezmann steps up, up against Bayern. There, so close, so close. The Turkish keeper almost made the save, and uh, Griezmann can celebrate. Is a possible goal that gets Atletico back into the game. Wambasaka. Oh man, it's a simple ball into, into Sancho. But like anybody with a good pair of eyes could see how I was aiming for Sancho. Remember Saka's technical ability just continues to let him down. The, even his defensive ability is not saving him at the minute. It's allowing them to get a lot of uh, runs in down that left-hand side and put in a lot of balls. And look, look, it's all coming from his side. Wamba Saka, man, always has to recover. Always has to recover. Another ball drill to the left. They're aiming for that left-hand side on purpose. Look at that. Another save from Bayern there. That's a, there's a reason why they're aiming down that right-hand side. I identify that as a weakness for a reason. Advantage given. Lonamond in the box. And then forced to make another save. It's another corner. Too many early crosses coming in. And I feel like Martinez isn't dealing with it properly. So Tapsuba's on. We're going to replace Rashford for Garnacho for energy purposes. Uh, Rashford wasn't meant to start really and truly. I should have rested him. From the jump, Correa with the shot. Come on, Van der Beek, man. What's this guy doing? Why do you need to take a touch like that? Just take it, under, take it on your chest, shield the ball. Why is he taking a... Touch on his chest and turning midway. Go on, taps over. Well done. Casemiro. On that show against his uh, former club. Varane. Super. Oh, Casemiro picks out a ball. Go on, that Chase this. Gets onto it. It's up against Molina. Puts the ball into the center. Head up. Oh, I thought Marshall's going to make a connection. Let's go, Fernandez, ball in, play the way, Absuba, try this again, Fernandez, header from Casemiro over the bar, okay, well, well done, Varane, referee, it's a, it's a, uh, I feel like we're playing against boys out here, I'm gonna take this, it's taken short, it's gonna be a nuisance, oh no, Koke, Free shot. Bayern there makes another save. They're out. Garnacho, well done. Hoyland. Get away from Koke. Well done, Hoyland. Bruno moving to the gap. Bruno. Bruno gets the ball under control. Bruno can go all the way. Bruno Fernandez. 1-1. 4-1 one, one. One in the tie. 1-1 one, one on the night. And Bruno Fernandes has bagged the equaliser.
Okay, right. so uh, uh, we're back in the menu now. We're back together. We've just given a professional contract to two new youth players. So Barbosa was one of them. He's a, currently an, an exciting prospect. He can play off the left or the right. Um, for those who have been tuning in, you guys would have would have already seen him um, from the youth academy when we scouted him. Uh, Gibbons was uh, the other player. I feel like um, one low move would take him up to maybe 68 uh, within a season. I just have real belief that this guy could potentially become a really good player in the system in the future but time will tell time will tell Dubois is one of those guys as well 18 years of age overall 62 he's got some developing to do um, if I'm honest with you we're going to loan him out hopefully uh, within that loan spell he can develop and we can um, we can assess whether he's just going to be a player that we can make profit over or profit on or just um, a player that's going to take his time to make his way into the first team. His aggression is quite low, interceptions quite low. Um, so we're working on him as a ball winning midfielder because he's going to be more central. So uh, even though we're going to have him more advanced up the pitch, I do want him to have the ability to actually do the defensive duties. Um, back to back home victories. So we recorded a 4-1 victory against Sheffield United. We beat Fulham 2-0. And uh, that is uh, off the back of a 3-1 victory against Everton as well. So our Premier League form is actually turning itself around. Uh, next up, we have a, a game against Brentford at the GTEC Community Stadium. We're going to be away from home. So we've got two away games on the trot. I think our away form has been decent this season and our home form has been good. Um, Chelsea, they beat us 2-1 earlier on, piling on um, to the misery that we were enduring during episode five. Yeah, defensively, we need to be um, as structured as Arsenal. As you guys can see, they've only conceded 24. They've not scored as many goals as us. Um, I, I, I can just already tell they're probably just getting victories where they're winning 2-1, 1-0, maybe 3-1. Whereas we, ha we had to win 4-3, 5-2, 5-3. And it's just a pileup of unnecessary goals being conceded by the defence. But sure enough, eventually we're going to patch that up. Let's head off into this game um, against Brentford. Uh, we're going to be away from home. I've got a lot of faces back from uh, injury, uh, faces that were out due to poor fitness. So we are going to um, try to field a bit of a rotated squad, not too rotated to the point where there's a chance for Brentford to cause an upset. But we do want to see the likes of uh, Garnacho get involved. Uh, Sancho's still doing more sit-down interviews. I don't know what this guy's playing at. So he's going to continue to get treated the way he's been treated since um, the initial comment he made about his game time in terms of Luke Short he's been playing really well on camera so I want him more involved Tatsuba the new guy I feel like uh, the more games we give him the the more uh, likely he is to he's going to grow into that position next to Martinez and um, Donny van der Beek I feel like we've given him enough chances I've seen enough of him Dyer Emery haven't seen enough of him so Casemiro is going to be rested for that game against Chelsea and Isaiah Emery can come off the bench, maybe play in that box-to-box -box role. If not, um, if Amrabat gets tired or he's not having a good game, we just play him as a CDM. Ericsson will most likely get a rest. If not, we might have to swap him in for Bruno Fernandes or Mason Mount. And this all just depends on how things go in this match. So without further ado, uh, let's get into this game and uh, see how we get on. Really have a disdain for this away kit. There's a Hickey, Jensen, burst into the penalty area. Jensen takes a shot at the near post. Oh, Nana with the save. I tried to cut across with uh, Martinez and predict that he's going to try hit a low across him. So I tried to slide in. I probably would have conceded the penalty if he got any closer to Martinez. Teaming up with uh, another player on that near post. The ball cleared away. Anthony takes Rico Henry out wide, drifts inwards. I think he completely fell for that. Cuts in on Pinnock. Anthony, left foot strike, Flecken with a brilliant stop there. Ball goes in from Bruno. Header from Luke Shaw. Couldn't direct it. Doing well to make things awkward in the centre for us. A lot of bodies there. Amrabat, Rashford, Shaw plays it in the centre. Headed down by Fernandez and Martial just needed to connect with the volley a bit better and get it on target. I feel like Flecken would have a lot of problems on his hands. If he did just that, Mount can turn. Well done, Mount. Carry the ball under pressure, which is good. Rashford. Back into Bruno. 
Bruno slips it into Martial. Martial, I oh, was going to cut it back into Mason Mount. If Mount moved a bit further forward into the six-yard box, the sweat would have been on. But here's another look at Anthony's attempt in the first half. Flecken, probably the only real save he's had to make so far in this game. That's a play and Buemo in behind. Luke Shaw's not having a bar of that. He wants to be on the attack. He doesn't want to defend Luke Shaw. Overlapping Luke Sh um, Rashford. Luke Shaw drifts inwards. Oh, come on. Martial, you take too long to make that run, man. I'm getting really fed up with Martial. Um, he becomes a passenger. It takes too long for him to actually get goal-scoring opportunities. And he had one, and he just wasted it. We need to take Rashford off as well for energy purposes. Okay. So that storm is over. Let's get the ball. Overlap. A sack up. Completes it. It's a lot of space down this right-hand side. Come on, Bruno, position yourself well. Instead, we find Hoyland, and then we find Garnacho, and Garnacho finds the back of the net. 77 minutes is taken for us to finally get a goal in this encounter. And I must say, uh, we were under pressure for the last five minutes, but after everything eased up, once we got that goal kick and reset, uh, I feel like Brentford just didn't get their shape back. And down that right-hand side, we were able to exploit them. Okay, so uh, we are going to make changes. Bruno Fernandes, Tapsuba, and Amrabat, they're making their way off. Zaya Emery is going to take that number six position. Varane is on, uh, playing next to Martinez as Tapsuba is a bit tired. And uh, Ericsson's going to replace Bruno Fernandes. All played into the box. Ericsson gets ahead on that. Who's he giving the free kick to, ref? Come on. Probably ours. Buemo is uh, Lucas Mecha. Mecha plays it to his right. Icky. Icky enters the penalty area. Shot from uh, Jensen. Come on, get that out. Thank you, uh, Mount. Oiland. Anthony. Anthony. Is it to his right? There's Ericsson. Wambasaka returns it. Oiland. Switch this plate. Luke Shaw's there. Take it down on your chest. Oh, Icky. He's there to intervene. Look and and distribute the ball long into Wissa. Knocks it down into Jay De Silva in the centre circle. He travels and enters the United half. Brentford. Got two minutes remaining if they want to salvage a point. They need to act now. Icky. Put in that challenge. Luke Shaw. There we go. Get in. There we go. That's what we need. That's what we need to see out these sorts of results. Shithousery. Boot it into their waist stand. Well done, Mount. Well done, Mount. We don't care. We don't care. We need the three points. And Buemo. All played in. Clear out. Clear it out. Well done, Wambasaka. Zaya Emery. What is going on here? We can't get, get the ball under control. But uh, things have eased up. Referee has given us a free kick. 1 0 was the scoreline. A narrow win. A narrow win. And uh, I feel like defensively, we did well to shut Brentford out. They had us un under a lot of pressure. Onana de dealt with it well. So did the back line. And as you could see, at the end, we had to fight. We had to fight to actually claim the three points in the end. Garnacho coming off the bench to bag the winner. Telling you, star boy, definitely one for the future. So what you guys saw in that last game was a magnificent defensive display. We didn't really have that in us earlier on this season when we took part in this encounter back in December. 2-1 was the scoreline before. At this time around, I'm expecting some of the same performances that we put in against Brentford uh, because I feel like if we're able to defend like that, even if we only score one goal or just two goals, we should be able to win. Okay, so starting in the next game will be Onana, Wambasaka, Varane, Martinez, Shaw, Casemiro, Mount, Fernandez, Garnacho, Martial and Rashford. The changes are Garnacho is playing off the right hand side, Casemiro's back in to the side i'm confident that he's gonna have a brilliant performance protecting the back line as per usual luke shaw after that good disp uh, defensive display we got him in the side aaron wambasaka i'm not too sure on however i prefer him to the low so hopefully uh, we're gonna have no defensive errors and uh, we're gonna have more of the ball and probably play them off the park fingers crossed let's go okay at the bridge we're on the way chelsea get the game kicked off with uh nicholas jackson and uh yeah, we're attacking to the left, they're attacking to the right. They've had a few new faces added to their squad. As you guys can see, Marino, for some odd reason, he's playing off the left-hand side. Chelsea look to get forward very early on. They're looking sharp at the minute. And Kunku in front of goal. And Onana forced to make a save. 
But um, this is what I mean. Defensively, we can't allow them to manoeuvre that quick and no one react to it. Luke Shaw, ball over the top. Thiago Silva takes it down and intercepts it. Recovering the ball. Luke Shaw. The tunnel. See, more of the same displays shown against Brentford. Just can't keep the ball. Just got to find a way to bypass this press. Doing quite well, Chelsea. Keeping us at bay. Oh, Brown on the more on the right hand side. Why are you on the inside? Oh, Wambasaka wins the ball. Back post. Oh, that's a poor cross as well. Poor cross. Loop it over the keeper's head. Why are you why have you got that head height for the keeper? This is what I mean. That's what I mean about Wambasaka. He lets himself down too often. One breath, I'll be praising him. Next breath, berating him. Oh, well done, Garnacho. Sends a Ben Chill to the canvas with the chop. Casemiro. Rashford. Come on, we need to get a shot off eventually. Bruno. Travella. Petrovic with the save. Finger. Maybe this is us growing into the game. Poor pass again. Doesn't make it to its man. Oh, Nicholas Jackson sends me. Oh, he's got the pace as well. He's got the pace. Oh, wait, Wambasaka recovery pace. Almost was enough. He felt the, the pressure of the defenders gaining on him. He goes with an early shot. Onana's forced to make a save. Chelsea have a corner. Oh, no, they don't. The shot went wide. Uh, I thought he was going to run clean through on goal. But that's what I mean. Wambasaka has his uses. His recovery pace was the difference because Lissandro Martins took a while to get going. Come to sprinting. Short. Latano closing off that angle. Another January acquisition. Chelsea can't stop spending. <laughs> Short. Mount. Oh, we got Wambasaka. Wambasaka, we need one floated into the centre. Floated in. Oh, we we'll tried to get Martial on the end of that. It's cleared out by Reese James. No shots, no shots. Oh, as soon as I say no shots, they take one. Casemiro makes the block. That's uh, Casado. Loses the patience. Nil nil. Nil nil at half time. Um I would I would say, I would say Chelsea. Chelsea are the more dominant side. It is hard for me to say that. I don't want to be saying it, but it's the truth. We had um one or two opportunities. I feel like they did really well in like congesting the centre of the park. Whenever we enter their half, they press us instantly. Uh, meaning that the passes, they're not stringing together, nullifying our attacks. Uh, at this current moment in time, the defence is what stands out for us. There's no one in the midfield or in the attacking third that's uh, popped up in this performance section. But let me have a further inspection. Yeah, we've got, got stinkers, stinkers beyond the defence. Like, what has gone on here? No, no, under pressure. <laughs> Sends uh, Jackson. Ball as you like for my goalkeeper. Short. Picks the ball down. Casemiro. Oh, come on. It's a simple ball up the line into Rashford. Why can't you play it? Casemiro, you're so close. It's just like the Liverpool game. It's just like the Liverpool game. I rested him specifically for this match and he's done nothing. He hasn't helped us take the ball out from the back. He hasn't helped us with options. And like, yeah, you guys already know what I mean. He's not been helpful. Okay, off goes Casemiro for Amrabat. We need, we need to change things up. We can't sit in our own half for 90 minutes. This is not what I came here to do. We, we came here to play football. Our players just uh, allow Chelsea just have the ball willy-nilly in our half. Whereas when we get to their half, there's no movement. And there's no uh, initiative. Come on, Moran, wake up, wake up. Everyone, wait. Oh, what's Luke Shaw doing? Shouldn't have pressed that button. And Kunku across the box. Okay, two more changes. Martial is off. Hoyland is on. Varane is off. And Tatsuba is on. Varane's walking around. So is Martial. It feels like we're down to nine men. It's, something's got to give. Chill. Nice movement here. Of the ball for Chelsea. Tatsuba puts on a block. I'm so glad he didn't go with his hand. Or lean in with his arm. Because uh, the referee not trying to hear anything. Once he sees the ball strike. Anything resembling to a limp. That isn't your legs or your feet. Let's go, let's go. 
Fernandez gives it to Mount. Mount in a foot race with Thiago Silva. He's just casually jog jogging while I'm sprinting at full pace. What's going on? What is going on? And no one, no one else was in that picture in a red shirt. <sighs> frustrating times, frustrating times. Acedo puts in a lovely challenge. Well done. Really patient. Waiting for the ball to turn over. Here's uh, Garnacho. Come on, get the shirts forward. Get the shirts forward. Garnacho crosses it in. Bruno volleys it right at goal. Petrovic makes the stop at his near post. Nicholas Jackson takes the ball down after the clearance. Marino. Oh, what a challenge there. Taps over. And then wan fires the ball at Garnacho. wan traveling the ball. Marino's doing well to keep him at bay, stopping him from putting a ball in Garnacho on his left foot. Over the bar. As a sorry, as Chelsea uh, continue to dominate the second half. Marino's traveling with the ball. Doesn't really get too far. Thank you. wan for calmly dealing with with that. How's he got a knock already? He's just come on. wan Come on. Get further forward, boys. Play on the inside. There's Anthony. Oh, Hoyland. Through and goal. Hoyland. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. We found the winner. Four minutes to go. I'm saying the winner like they don't have it in them to bag a late equalizer. But Rasmus Hoyland off the bench. Fine movement. He waited. He bought himself time. He didn't run too early. He played off the shoulder of the defender. And uh, we found a way to slip him in. He coolly finishes it. It is Anthony off the bench to make an impact. This is what this is about. Uh, you don't always have to win in a glamorous way. Sometimes hitting a team on the break. There's no shame in it. And uh, right now, it looks like we're about to get a 1-0 victory. Uh, the flipped fixture has ended with uh, three points going our way this time. And uh, we're going to continue, continue to breathe down the Gunners next. Uh, and I feel like, I feel like if we buy ourselves, not even buy ourselves some time, we remain patient, eventually they're going to capitulate and bottle it. You already know how, how Arsenal are. They like to bottle titles. They like to bottle trophies. Uh, we bottled a trophy ourselves, but there's a chance for us to actually win two. So, yeah. We, 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 have, we have our options open. We're in the menu now. And as you guys can see, we're in for Lenny Euro. He's a player that we've been eyeing up since he's entered our scout reports. Um, in terms of the fee that we're going to pay for him, it's between 3 million and 5 million. Hopefully, we can uh, strike a deal with uh, Lille. What I'm trying to do now is trying to poach players before they get poached from other clubs. Because this guy here, we were watching him from the start of the season. He got poached in the middle of January, which uh, narrowed down my options to Euro. These two would have been um, play the two players I would have contemplated about. But I feel like um, we were left with, with only one choice. And plus, he is the better player on paper. Uh, I feel like a signing like this will be good for the future. We haven't got any centre-backs coming through the youth ranks in real life or on the game. So I feel like um, him being around the first team from time to time will do him some good. Play him in the Carabao Cup games next season. See how he gets on. In terms of the Premier League, the table is taking its shape. Um, yeah, Arsenal, they're on top of the table, 76 points to our 72. We do have a game in hand as they play the game um, right before our Liverpool game, which is going to be in the next episode. Liverpool have two games in hand on Arsenal, one on us. Uh, so we're currently uh, 11 points ahead. Of, no, not 11 points, nine points ahead of them on the table. Uh, Manchester City, they're one point below Liverpool. Uh, they're sitting at fourth. Tottenham, they're creeping up on City and so is you know Newcastle aren't really creeping up they've, they've, even, they've even played an extra game so I think their hopes of uh, Champions League football slowly um, dwindling down in terms of the relegation battle is wide open so I'll say from Fulham even maybe a bit of Wolverhampton but they've got games on hand so I'll say from Fulham all the way down to Sheffield United nobody is safe no one's safe whatsoever obviously Luton Town and Sheffield United um, they're kind of really close to being confirmed relegated not, they're not too far away. But Brentford, there's hopes for them um, because of Burnley, Brighton, Aston Villa, Nottingham Forest and Fulham not being consistent enough to get away from the drop. So Mo Salah, he's the top goal scorer still, 22 goals. Uh, Martinelli second with 16. And then we have a uh, joint third with uh, three players, Martial, Haaland and Hudson-Odoi. They're all on 15 goals. In terms of assists, 
in the in the league topping assists is Nkunku 12 uh, McAllister's got 10 uh, so has Anthony he's been, he's been really creative this year I must say Salah's got 9 as well as Haaland and Rashford's got 8 as well as Mount and Kulazeski clean sheets Ramsdale is topping the list for clean sheets he most likely will get golden glove Onana's right behind him Onana's definitely turned the season around uh, like I said plenty of times 11 clean sheets for Onana Neto almost Neto he's got 10 they must have had a bunch of nil-nil draws. What's going on here? And when it comes to goal contributions, as you guys can see, uh, Marshall and Rashford, they hit the 20-goal mark. Hoyland's not too far away from it. Uh, uh, Fernandez and Anthony entered double digits for goals. Um, Anthony's got 13, goal, uh, 13 assists in all competitions, so his goal involvements are crazy at the minute. 24 plus tw uh, 34 appearances. Uh, Ericsson's one goal away from um, being in double figures for goals. Um, Garnacho has uh, added an extra goal. So he's got six goal involvements and 24 appearances. His average rating is still quite low though, 6.32. Speaking of average ratings, let's to take a look at the rest of the squad. So when it comes to, let's take a, let's just sort out by appearances. So 6.51 from Hoyland, 6.74 from Martial. So I feel like Martinez is probably the best out of everyone. 7.14. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, 7 7.1 from uh, Bruno. And then we've got nobody else. What's on Nana on? He must have uh, played quite a few games. So 6.59. So Martinez is the best performer in the squad at this current moment in time. So I think like... All the praises that I've been singing about him has uh, come to be true. In the next episode, as you already know, we're taking on Liverpool. Uh, we're going to have Napoli right after that game at home for the quarterfinal encounter. Uh, we've got Bournemouth away from home. And we're going to have Napoli away from home um, right at the end of the next episode. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that one. I'm definitely pumped up for that. Uh, I'm not too sure what to expect out of the Champions League. I haven't even set an expectation. We're just vibes and if I'm honest with you. Um, whoever whoever we draw against we're going to try to field the best side possible and play the best football possible on the day but yeah if you made it this far be sure to smash that like button sub to the channel if you are new and also hit the notification bell so you're notified when i go live premiere video or upload one uh, i'd like to thank you guys for the support shown in the series so far and i'd uh, like to like to thank you guys for the patience shown for the last episode because that one got uploaded very very late um it's not the daily content that i promised but uh, we we are gonna like have a few hiccups especially when it comes to rendering my machinery is good but i can do miles better i can do miles better. i haven't got a proper proper setup i'm recording off a mac m1 pro and um i don't think it's really great for gaming but it, it does the trick it does the trick for me um, but yeah, bear that in mind as well. So sometimes if I don't upload, it's not because I can't be asked. I'm probably facing difficulties with the technical stuff, like whether it's audio, whether it's rendering, whether it's just something going wrong with the editing. But yeah, not to waffle too much. I feel like I've taken enough of you guys' time. Hope to see you guys for episode number eight. Take care for now.